Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to press your curved seams. So there are a few different ways that you can achieve this. Um, one way is to press towards the convex portion. So this would be your convex, the white. This would be your concave um, or your pie and your crust. So you can be pushing the seams toward your, towards your pie. Now that's perfectly fine. If you can see, it almost appears that the pie portion is raised, which could be a really cool effect. Now, if you did it the other way, and let's push towards our crust or our concave piece. Having a clapper helps too. <laughs> Those ways are, are just fine. Now, if you do towards the crust portion, it'll look a little bit inset, okay? And that could be something that you actually wanna play with. That's totally cool. If you are doing multiple curves, let's say like this in a drunkard's path block, um, when you go to attach them, if they're all in the same way, they are going to get rather bulky here and here, okay? Um, and then when you go to sew the outside portions, these little areas are going to get rather thick, okay? So that's fine to do it, but just be aware of the bulk. So another way to do it would be to open your seams. So let's give that a go. We're gonna open it up. Don't you just love this? It's my fave. Okay, so that's not bad. However, it'll end up kind of raising a bit because it's taut. These are my demo pieces. So um, they've been <laughs> through the ringer a few times. So they might be laying a bit more flat, but typically the tension on a curved seam will eventually sort of raise the seam allowance, even if you've pressed it open really nice. So what I suggest doing, now you could do this one of two ways. You can notch along the seam allowance or if you have a pair of pinking shears you can go around there too um but quite simply i just go along now that is the slightest see that the slightest little notch i am staying very far away from my seam okay so we'll just go along that and by doing this, these little snips, um, that tension, when you open it up, it's going to ease that tension, okay? So now let's try to open up the seam. Oh, so you can already tell how nice that is, right? And there you can also see that some parts of the snips, like the seam allowance will overlap. Whoops. So this 
is now my preferred method. It does take a little bit of extra time to do, but in the end, especially if you are using a lot of Drunkard's Path blocks like I tend to do, it is well worth it in the end. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope you're having a happy sewing day. Take it easy and keep it quilty.